MIDI cues are a great way to control Easy Worship wirelessly and automatically. Today, we're going to show you how to streamline your worship service by using MIDI integration to connect your playback app from multi-tracks with Easy Worship. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos. If you use the playback app from Multitracks, you can use their MIDI out feature to create MIDI cues in your worship tracks to control the slides in Easy Worship. This is a fantastic feature because this will allow you to set up those cues ahead of time so you'll never miss a slide or have a slide show up too late during your worship service. The playback app is available on iOS and can be downloaded from the App Store. We'll be using an iPad today to show you how it works. The first thing you'll need to do is make sure the computer running Easy Worship and your iPad are connected to the same network. Since we're connecting an Apple device to a Windows computer through the network, you'll need a utility called RTP MIDI installed on your Easy Worship computer to make this connection work. A second utility that isn't required, but that we would recommend installing, is called Bonjour. This is a network discovery utility that will allow Easy Worship to open with the MIDI integration enabled. So if you don't have it installed, it will prompt you to do so when you open Easy Worship. We'll also leave a link in the description below to one of our knowledge base articles that will walk you through installing Bonjour step by step. It should only take a couple of minutes, so if you want to install that now, go ahead and pause the video and come back when you're done. Now, open Easy Worship and click the Remote button on the toolbar. If you don't see a Remote button, you'll need to enable it in the Options page. To get there, click the Edit menu and go to Options. Then, click Advanced and check the box next to Enable Remote Control and click OK. From the Remote button, hover over MIDI and click the plus button in the bottom left corner to create a new MIDI control. When the MIDI control window opens, click the link in the bottom left corner that says More Information to download and install RTP MIDI. Easy Worship uses RTP MIDI for the network connection between your iPad or phone and the PC. When you click the link, a browser window will open with instructions and a link in the top right corner to download RTP MIDI. Installing this should also only take a couple of minutes. So once again, if you want to install that now, pause the video and come back when you're done. Now once that installation is complete, go ahead and launch RTP MIDI. In the top left, you'll see a box named My Sessions. Click the plus button at the bottom of that box to create a session. You should now see a session with your computer name. Check the box next to it to enable that session. Just below that, you'll see another box named Directory. This will list all devices on your network that it can connect to. You should see your iPad listed here. If you don't, make sure it's on and unlocked. When you see it available, select your iPad and click Connect. Now your iPad should be listed in the Participants list on the right. Go ahead and close RTP MIDI by clicking the X in the top corner and go back to Easy Worship. In the MIDI control window that we left open, you can create a control name. Let's just name this one Playback. The input MIDI device is going to be the computer you're sending the MIDI cues to. That will be this PC that has Easy Worship on it. So click the drop down and select your computer name. If you need to use a specific MIDI channel, select one here. Otherwise, leave it on any and then go to the input cues tab. You'll see a lot of information on this screen but all of the MIDI notes are already set to work with playback, so you shouldn't need to change anything here. But you will want to leave this window open to reference what MIDI notes you want to use for creating the cues in playback. If you want, you can also write them down or take a screenshot of this page, 
That way you have the information without needing to have that window open. Before adding the MIDI cues in playback, make sure you have your Easy Worship schedule created with all the songs you'll be using. You can add the songs to your Easy Worship schedule by dragging and dropping them from the Songs tab. So now, let's go to your playback app on the iPad and set up the cues. Playback gives you a couple of different ways to add your MIDI cues. You can log into your account on multitracks.com and enter them there manually or with a .mid file. Or you can create cues directly in the playback app. Now today, I'm going to demonstrate adding the cues in the app. So in the playback app, you need to make sure that it sees the computer and is connected to it. Tap the hamburger icon in the top right corner and go to settings. On the general tab that opens, you first want to make sure the MIDI out option is enabled. Then go to the MIDI tab. The first available port listed here is set to control lyrics. Moving over to the right, you'll see where it says select a port. Tap this and you should see an option to select network session. Select that and now it will show you that it's using the network session. You can leave the channel on one unless you chose a different channel when setting up Easy Worship. If that's the case, then you'll need to select the same channel you set in Easy Worship. Then make sure the toggle switch is green, which means it's on. Tap the X in the top right corner of the settings window to close it. To add the MIDI cues, select the song you want in your set list and tap and hold the edit button at the top of playback and select MIDI cues. You'll see a plus button show up on the playhead. Press the play button to play the track and you can then press the plus button on the playhead at any point to add your cues. The default cues will not match up with Easy Worship, but you can edit the cues to what you want them to be. For example, we've set up our song in Easy Worship to start with a blank slide so there aren't words on the screen during the track intro. We want it to advance to the second slide just before verse 1. If we look at Easy Worship, the MIDI note to advance to the next build or slide is note A-2. So in the playback app, we can press the plus button on the spot in the timeline where we want to advance to the first lyric slide, which will bring up the window to select your cue. The MIDI bus should be set to Lyrics, and the message should be set to Note. Tap on Value and set the note to A-2, and press Done. You won't need to do anything with velocity for this note, because it will just display the next slide no matter what the velocity is. Go ahead and tap Add to add it to your track. One great thing about adding the cues in playback is that if you play your track and press the plus button on the playhead as it's playing, it will create all subsequent cues with the same note you previously added and increase the velocity by one number each time, which in this case is our next build or slide cue. Again, velocity won't matter for this MIDI cue. Velocity will only be taken into account if you want to jump to a specific slide or schedule item. For example, if we want to jump from slide 1 to slide 5 instead of the next slide or slide 2, we can use the slide number cue from Easy Worship. We can either edit a cue that has already been inserted, or we can pause the track and then press the plus button on the playhead to bring up the MIDI cue editor and add in the note for slide number, which is E-1, instead of A-2. Then we would choose number 5 under Velocity to specify slide number 5. When playback hits that cue in the track, it will jump to slide 5 in that song in Easy Worship. If you want to just edit a cue that is already there, tap that cue to select it and press the note pop-up. From there, you can change any setting for that MIDI cue that you want, and then press Update to save those settings. 
Another example of using the velocity setting is to go live to a schedule item in Easy Worship. For example, if the song I'm working on is the third item in the Easy Worship schedule, we can set up MIDI cues in that track to send it live. Sending a schedule item live does require two different MIDI cues, one to select the schedule item and the other to send it live. So at the beginning of the track, we would suggest somewhere in the intro, press the plus button on the playhead to add a MIDI cue and select note D sharp negative one, which is the note for schedule number. Then set the velocity to three for schedule item number three. Press add to add that cue to the track. Then add another cue in the timeline directly after that cue and select note A sharp negative two, which is the note for go to presentation start, or in other words, go live to the beginning of that schedule item. Leave velocity on one since we don't need it for this cue and click add. Now, when you play the track from the beginning, the first MIDI cue will select the third schedule item in Easy Worship, and the second cue will send it live on slide one. After that, it will follow all the other cues you set up. You can also place any other cues you might want, including black screen, clear screen, or even the logo. Just use the notes from the Easy Worship MIDI settings to set those up. If you do need to move or delete a MIDI cue, press the ellipse button in the top left corner. To move a cue, select Nudge MIDI Cue and then press the left or right arrow buttons to move it. If you want to delete a cue, select Delete MIDI Cue from the ellipse menu. When you're finished adding and editing all your MIDI cues, tap Done at the top of the screen. The last thing you need to do is go back to the PC and click OK on the MIDI control window in Easy Worship, if it's still open. Then click the remote button on the toolbar and hover over MIDI and next to your MIDI connection, click the lock button to unlock it and allow it to receive the MIDI cues from your playback app. If you need to edit your Easy Worship songs to match the MIDI cues you set up in playback, you can right click and edit those either in the schedule or the database. Or if you make any changes to your slides in Easy Worship, you can edit the cues in playback to match those changed slides. Now, when you play your track in playback, each time it hits one of those MIDI cues, it will send that signal to Easy Worship and perform the function you set it up to do. Again, this is an amazing feature and very helpful if you use Easy Worship and playback from Multitracks. If you don't use tracks and you would like to, I'll leave a link to Multitracks website in the description below and you can check them out. If you do have any questions, go ahead and put those in the comments below or you can send an email to support at easyworship.com. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and click the notification bell. I'll see you next time. Have a blessed day.